bishop. I'm sorry? Just move the fucking bishop. Really? You... You're going to move the bishop to c5, aren't you? Because right? you think it'll put pressure on my queen. Yeah, but what I'll do is I'll just do um, this, and that'll be check, right? Okay. So then you'll have to you'll have to do do this. Uh, no, you can't have to do that, won't you? Okay. So then I'll do. Um, let me see. I'll do that. Uh, okay. So you'll probably do this. So I'll do that. Um, you'll do this. I'll do that. Uh, let's check. Um, you'll probably get about there. Uh, I'll do that. Let's check. Um, you'll go there. And I'll do that, and that should be checkmate. <coughs> How was Gabby's? Really? Well, why not? <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Apart from the creeping sensation of dread. Oh yeah, apart from that. Yeah, could have been worse. How so? Could have been worse. Did Gabby enjoy herself? She seemed to. Did you play her funeral playlist? Yeah, at the end of the night, yeah. Really? Of course she fucking didn't. She's the one who's got a funeral playlist. Yeah, well, it seems all of them all are apt now, doesn't it? How was Nathan? Didn't stop talking about Colombian drip coffee all night. Well, what happened to Craft Ale? He's given up drinking. Bad for the soul, apparently. Huh. Uh, Gideon? You really want to know how Gideon is? Why not? Right. He's uh, running for the local council and he's canvassing this weekend. You're right. I really didn't want to know. And the doctor? What? Don't you want to know what the doctor said? Well, not particularly. <laughs> what? Well, I know what the doctor said, didn't I? Not exactly, I wasn't there, but you know, I am deaf. Nice guy. He suggested uh, treatment, you know, mostly experimental. It's a bit pointless. Yeah, thanks a lot. Didn't really leave it open to interpretation. Huh. I gave me six months. Worst case scenario. It's not a scenario. You've got four months. <sighs> Couldn't do the experimental shit anyway. I ended up getting the sack. You what? Why? Well, apparently calling partners wankers is a bit verboten. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that that's not encouraged. Um, why did you call them wankers? Might have had a little bit to do with the fact that I'm dying. Yes, I'm not a fucking idiot, but there must have been something else. Tim Farley asked if he could borrow my stapler. Right, well that seems a bit silly. Yeah, that's what Gabby said. Is that really what Gabby said? No, she called me a pussy-ass bitch. <laughs> did she? I don't think she's ever said any one of them words, <laughs> let alone all of them in one sentence. Have you told her? What? You know, have you told her? No. Since I've seen you and you know, I haven't been able to get it out of my head. Had the biopsy and then I waited. You know, it's, it's the last thing you think about when you think about it, you know, really. Just want to go in, get tested, get the results, leave. You know, like ripping off a plaster. While she sat there, though, you looking around and you realise how many people are in there and how many different variations of death that there really are. It was all just foggy up until like two weeks. Managed to drift through well enough, did my work, came home, watched the antiques fucking roadshow. Yeah. Been treating the days like units. All just collapsed a couple of days ago though. Gabby thing. Work thing. Came here. And you haven't told Gabby? What the fuck do you care? I'm your friend. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't like your girlfriend, but you do. Well, you did. You'll be glad to know that I think we've broken up. Why? 
And she called me a pussy ass bitch for one. Well, that was because you got sacked because of a stapler. Since when the fuck did you take her side? Well, since you got sacked because of a. Oh, just shut the fuck up. So, do you believe me? About. About me being deaf. I don't think I've got a choice, then. Well, you could choose to be ignorant. What the fuck good's that gonna do me? None. Hmm. Let's just. Let's just say I do believe you. Which you should. Alright. I do. I've got a question. And what if I don't know the answer? Then you don't know the answer. Okay. How long have you known? About me? I don't know the answer. Bollocks. It's complicated. And uncomplicated. I don't know, I got confused. Fucking hell, that's comforting. Death gets confused. Well, it's complicated and, incidentally, confusing. And as I said, uncomplicated. Well, as I said, it's complicated. Yeah. A year ago, when your mum died, okay, I suppose it was around then that I realised, when things started to become clear. You see, I spent so much time with you and your mum, I was never really sure when your mum was going to die. Sometimes I felt she was going to die when she did die. Sometimes I thought she was going to die when, when you're going to die. I, I never thought connected it with you, it just got all confusing and then at the funeral, I noticed the feeling wouldn't go away. And afterwards, I like, like, that ink wouldn't dry, you know. And then after that, well, I knew. So you knew? Well, weren't you listening? Not about me, you dick, about Mum. You, you knew when you didn't say anything. You were telling us it were all going to be all right, that she'd, that she'd pull through and she'd win. You stood there patting me on the fucking back! What do you back? expect me to do? Tell him it was all over and there was no no point, you know, nothing to be done. Tell him it had already been written. As far as I knew then, she might still have been alive. She might still have some hours on the clock. She might still have four months to live. And what the fuck do you know? I know when everyone is going to die, exactly. Well, apart from you, until, well, now. You know, I suppose that's why, you know, I, I was always drawn to you as a friend, you know? you know? All that shit I felt about everybody else, you know? It was nice, it was different, spending some time with someone who didn't seem limited. Imagine looking at everybody like food in a supermarket. Yeah? You buy food knowing it's going to go off. And I've gone through life, right, without making any connections, because it all seems so futile, okay? Why do you think I don't go out? I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks fucking awful. People dressed like fucking lunatics. But imagine walking into a crowded room full of people, drinking, dancing, talking. Never, never one day imagine it's all gonna be over one day. It's all gonna be done. Imagine walking into a room, you know, it's like a, like a fucking morgue. Time and dates flying through your head. Jenny there. You know, one has just ordered five shots. No, she's got five years left, you know. Um, Tom, he's got a good in his coat, lucky bastard. Uh, Tom, uh, Freddie over there, he's going to kill himself in 10 years' time. Um, Chloe's got 70 years, Richard 40. Imagine walking into that fucking morgue. <sighs> Saturday, I just want to enjoy myself, okay? So I hold up in here and I listen to the beat. Boom, 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 boom. But with you, I escaped it, yeah? You know, not for long, sure, but it was nice spending time with someone who didn't seem to be in a perennial state of rot, okay? Someone who I could look at and not see the end of before I saw the beginning. Someone who didn't have a, have a sell-by date. Sell-by date? A best before, if you prefer. That's incredibly insulting. What? So I'm just some kind of tin preserved vegetable that you put on the, onto your shelf for the rest of the time. That is not what I said. You're the only person that I could connect with, okay? The only person who I could talk to, okay? 
The only person I felt I didn't have to lie to. <coughs> Apart from the fact that you did. I didn't lie to you. I didn't tell you the truth. And there is a difference, you know. It does matter. Anyway, there were signs. I'm surprised you didn't work it out for yourself. How on earth were I supposed to work it out? But there were signs. How do you think I do my job? You don't have a fucking job. I do! Oh my God, what the fuck's being deaf got to do with the stock market? A shocking amount. You'd be surprised. It's rather easy if you know which, you know, leader of a Fortune 500 co company is going to die in the next few weeks. Look, anyway, that doesn't really matter, does it? And you know, I will look after Gabby when you're gone. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? You know, I'll make sure she's okay. It's the sort of thing that people are supposed to say, isn't it? Oh my God, you want to fuck her, don't you? What? When have I ever mentioned I want to fuck your girlfriend? It makes sense, doesn't it? All this I don't like Gabby shite. Exactly. I don't like Gabby. That sort of rather suggests I don't want to sleep with someone. You know, I thought that you'd be grateful by now. Why the fuck would I be grateful? I don't know, I thought you'd, you know, be happy that I told you. Because I'm not fucking happy. How, how are you supposed to be happy with something like that? You told me I'm going to die in a specific month on a certain day and at a certain time. We're all going to die at a certain time in a certain place. You're lucky. I don't even know, you know. What? 30th of October, okay? I don't know which year, I don't know when, I don't know the date, just 30th of October, I don't know anything else. Still more gloriously ambiguous than my impending demise. Look at this. Right, what would you have done if I hadn't have told you? Okay. I heard uh... Exactly! Something pointless, something to keep moving the passage of time, you know, living to the next day, filling up the remaining hours until you were rested and recovered to fill the day once more. Life is as long as you make it, isn't it? Okay? Every hour, every minute, you can spend your life um, gorging yourself on food that just about sustains you. You're wanking in dimly lit rooms, because let's be honest, I haven't even got a job. That's what you were going to do tonight, wasn't it? I don't wank in dimly lit rooms. A bright, well-lit room, then, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to find that all that stuff is just pointless. It's just filler. <coughs> well, isn't that just great? My entire fucking existence has just been a meaningless existence whilst filling the gaps between wanks. It's not your fault, is it? My wanks are pretty good fun. What's the point? Sounds to me like you haven't been wanking properly. Oh, fuck off, dickhead. I mean the... <laughs> Point of life? Oh, come on, don't give me that. What the fuck else am I supposed to give you? You told me I'm going to die. What other reaction is there? Huh? Thanks a lot, Paul. Now I can get on with things now that I know how long I've got. How am I even going to leave my mark? Huh? What am I going to do? In four months, how are people even going to know that I were here? Do a bit of skydiving, climb a fucking mountain. Desperately afraid of heights, mate. You're going to have to be able to do some anything. Oh, you could get on your knees and pray if you really wanted to. I thought that wouldn't help. No, it wouldn't. It might make you feel better. Just not going to make it. Well, you can always try. I mean, people have been dying for thousands of years. But what's you know, you know, what's a little faith in in the face of a you know a, a necessary part of life? So you can't do anything. I can do a lot of things, but changing the natural conclusion of your life is not one of them. So. Do you want me to say? Do you want me to say? Leave it to me. I want you to do what you can. Which is nothing. You think if I had some way of changing it, I wouldn't have done it by now for everybody, okay? I mean, no one wants to die, you know, but it's just something that happens, it has to happen, otherwise nothing would ever get done. Life is about beating death, you know? You know, why do we do things? We have a limited time frame. We just have to try and accomplish as much as we can 
in the time we've got. If he never died, why would you ever do anything? Unlimited time leads to unlimited waste. Now, look, we can't play games together. And there is a, if, if someone like that to stop it, we just carry on. If the guy with the stopwatch isn't there, say, time's up, you know, you know, you, you wouldn't do anything, would you? You wouldn't do anything tomorrow. It doesn't make what we do less pointless, but you know, it gives some people something to get out of bed for, right? Death gives people something to live for. What are you living for? I keep time. Nice excuse. Well, it's important. Well, you've done a fucking shit job for me, haven't you? What time have I had? How is that fucking fair? I worked hard. I did all the shit you're supposed to do. School, uni, car, mortgage, girlfriend. Exactly. exactly. Exactly what? Oh, look what you've accomplished. I've only just got started, man. How is that fair? Well, it's not fair, but, you know, whether you die in your 20s or in your 90s, you never want it to end. But I am dying in my 20s and I don't want it to end. Oh, yeah, well, but what do you want me to say, man? Change it, man. Trick. What? Me? Death. You know, I wish I could have told you sooner that you, you know, you, you were aware, but, you know, that is life. Oh, great. I'm sorry, Simon, you're going to die, but, you know, that's life. Can't help you any more than I have. You can fucking try. What? Seriously? If you can figure out what we've all been trying to figure out consistently over all these years collectively to try and stop this slow process of deterioration, then be my guest. I don't want you to go. You know, but you have to. Those are the rules. But if there's nothing that can be done? It's not an if. Cheers. I just don't get why me. Everyone is the same. Thanks. You don't think I don't ask that question? You, know, you don't think I, why I ask why I have to be the vessel for all this, why I have to sit here and tell you. I'm sorry, mate, you're going to have to excuse me. You know, forgive me for not exactly seeing things from your perspective, right? But oh, well, yeah, don't listen to death, that makes sense. I thought we concluded you couldn't do anything. I can't. So, oh, why should I listen to you then? Because we're friends. Not for long. That's just below the belt, isn't it? What are you doing? Who are you calling? Are you fucking listening to me? Just wait. You fucking... Hi there! Yeah, it's Paul. Uh, yeah, of course you're not in. Um, that thing you said I shouldn't do, well I did. Although you knew that would happen. Didn't you? Um, so look. If you could call me back, um, in a bit of a sticky situation here, yeah, so, um, call me back, yeah? Sorry about that. <clears throat> Any explanation? Not really, no. Well, that doesn't seem fair, does it? I think we've established that nothing is. <sighs> Oh, what's that? I'm afraid I can't say. It's really not my place. Was it? No. But you... No. Why? No, it's not my place. So what can you tell me? I called someone. Well, yeah, about. Well, you were there. Oh, well, it was pretty big, wasn't it? I suppose it was. Can you expand? Not really. Why? Why all the sudden see you? So you've already told me um, that you're deaf and I'm going to die and my life has had no meaning up to all this point. Oh, that's not true. Oh, it's part. I said most people's lives have no meaning. That's comforting. Well, it wasn't meant to be. And I didn't say up until that point, did I? Right. My life has no meaning. Now you're trying to make me feel bad. Well, we wouldn't have won that now, would we? I'm still a person, you know. Strangely enough, mate, I ain't exactly seen it like that at the moment. Haven't you been listening? I think listening to you is a problem. I'm starting to think you do not deserve my help. What help? Well, you know, the warning. 
warning, yeah. Thanks. It's a big fucking help. Well, like it or not, it's all that I can offer. How about some genuine compassion? Well, what do you think I've offered? Indifference. That's not true, is it? Really? Because it seems as soon as I've started to accept that this is actually happening, you've done nothing but keep me in the fucking face. I mean, four months. Four fucking months. Well, four months. Yeah, 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 just over. Just over like that. What can you even do in four months? Eh? It's not even half a fucking year. I couldn't even see the world. Not that I could afford it. Still got to work, turn money, just to live and breathe. This fucking limited existence. Oh, and I'm going to have to grovel to get my bastard job back. I'm not even going to see who wins the league. I'm not even going to see who wins the league! I'm just going. Ah, offline. Dead. Buried. No more memories. Nothing. My mum's gone now, I'm off as well. Why should he even try? It's like you said. We're all just trying to pack it all in before we... Pack it all in. I, I don't, I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair. All I want is another crack, just another go at it. I'd do it right. I know her. What a promise. I don't, I don't know who I'm even fucking promising. Four months. Four fucking months. Look, man, I'll do it right. I, I promise you. You won't make a difference. I can't help you. I know, but you can't blame me, can you? <sighs> No, well, there's got to be a way. You don't really think that. There's got to be a way. <sighs> Simon, you Listen. need to step back. Sisyphus, yeah? What? Sisyphus. What well, you didn't care about Sisyphus? When death was bound, no one could die. Listen, it's a myth, okay? I don't have any chains, Simon, all right? You know, it's just a myth. Yeah, so's death. No, I'm right here, mate. Well, what have I got to lose? Um, me, your humanity. Nah, man, you get to come back. Not really, mate. You need to calm down, really, okay? You really need, it's not gonna save you. But if you... Stop thinking about trying to kill me. I'm not. You're well, already dead. Nothing's gonna change it, man. So you're not even willing to die for me? Well, I would, but it wouldn't make any difference. What if you're just saying that? Look. It'll just be passed to someone else. What if you're lying? Hang on. You've gone from not believing this into taking it really seriously. Why would I lie? I don't want to die. I know. But it won't, you know. It might. Then you could live with that, wouldn't you? Look, you get to come back, remember? You're the Dalai fucking mama. Fuck! I get the phone. Give me the phone! I need to get the phone. Simon. Give me the phone! Let me the get phone. the phone! Let me get the phone. <clears throat> Hello? Oh. I don't agree, really. But if, if you think, yeah? No, but... How oh. Well, I see your point. Are you sure you want to? He is not in a good state. Well, of course you did. I suppose that's true, but that makes sense, yeah? Okay. Here. Here. What? Here. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, of course, so I guess that's, yeah, you're right, he is shit at his job. You don't want to, all right, bye then. <coughs> so that was, yep, and, yep. I mean, she's a... Yeah. <laughs>
Right. Oh. Well, she can't be happy with how things have gone, though. No. We don't really talk that much, though. <laughs> Shit, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> what, about trying to kill me? Yeah, I should have seen that coming, really, shouldn't I? I really shouldn't have told you about Sisyphus. It was a bit stupid of me to sort of imply that it could be changed. <clears throat> yeah. So, are you, are you alright? Not really. I'm dying. Well, yeah. But apart from that. Apart from dying? Yeah, it could have been worse. Did, did that help, though, did it? What? The... Yeah. Yeah, you should probably have led with that. Yeah, I'm not really supposed to. You weren't supposed to tell me anyway. No. But you know, you're, um... Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, yeah I'm just thinking. Oh, well, stop doing that. What? Well, it just makes you depressed, doesn't it? And <clears throat> gives you homicidal thoughts. No, I wasn't thinking about that. Oh. Ah. What were you thinking about? Yeah, I I love her. Yeah, I know that. I don't really know why. For fuck's sake, mate. You know, when you actually start looking after her, you might actually learn to like her. You know, I, I was thinking more of um, a long line of uh, financial support, giving her some money rather than anything no, emotional. No, 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 that won't do. <sighs> Something's so, ominous. You're going to have to sort the funeral out with her. What? I have to talk to the girl. Yeah, ex exactly. <sighs> Why? Look, it's my funeral. You do what I want. It's like a reverse birthday party. And you'll make a speech. So you better start writing something nice. <sighs> For fuck's sake. I reckon I'll just do a poem. I'll leave it open to interpretation. <laughs> <clears throat> You thought about your playlist? For the funeral. Jerusalem! Yeah, just make sure it's not all fucking things bright and beautiful, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, leave it to Gabby anyway. I think she's sorting me a playlist out. I really don't know what you attracts you to this person. One day, mate. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to fuck I wasn't... your girlfriend. I'm, I'm gonna go. Why don't you have another game of chess, eh? No, I, I wanna go for a drink. I've got beer. I, I wanna go out. Oh, thanks. Don't you think it's just been enough for today? Yeah, you're probably right, mate. By the way, I've got my own question to ask you. Ask away. You haven't asked me when Gabby's going to die. I know. What well, do you want to know? That's it, Matt, I know. Are you going to tell her? What? The whole you dying thing. I can wait. I've got, how long was it again? Four months, ten days, three hours. Well, in fact, it's more like two and a half, so might as well, you know. <sighs> Thanks, yeah. Well, no worries, mate. It's what I do.